It was not you who chose me, says the Lord, but I who chose you and appointed you to go and bear fruit, fruit that will last. Alleluia. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. And the Lord be with you. Today we celebrate the Feast of St. Matthias, Apostle. So let's prepare ourselves to celebrate these sacred mysteries today. Let us first call to mind our sins, and we ask for God's forgiveness. Lord Jesus, you are mighty God and Prince of Peace. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you are the Son of God and Son of Mary. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you are Word made flesh and splendor of the Father. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of good will. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you. We give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, Heavenly King, O God Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit and the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who assigned St. Matthias a place in the College of Apostles, grant us through his intercession that rejoicing at how your love has been allotted to us, we may merit to be numbered among the elect. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. Peter stood up in the midst of the brothers and sisters. There was a group of about 120 persons in the one place. He said, My brothers and sisters, the scripture had to be fulfilled, which the Holy Spirit spoke beforehand through the mouth of David concerning Judas, who was the guide for those who arrested Jesus. Judas was numbered among us and was allotted a share in this ministry. For it is written in the book of Psalms, Let his encampment become desolate, and may no one dwell in it, and may another take his office. Therefore, it is necessary that one of the men who accompanied us the whole time, the Lord Jesus came and went among us, beginning from the baptism of John until the day on which he was taken up from us, become with us a witness to his resurrection. So they proposed two, Joseph called Barsabas, who was also known as Justice, and Matthias. Then they prayed, You, Lord, who know the hearts of all, show which one of these two you have chosen, to take the place in this apostolic ministry, from which Judas turned away to go to his own place. Then they gave lots to them, and the lot fell upon Matthias, and he was counted with the eleven apostles. The word of the Lord. The Lord will give him a seat with the leaders of his people. The Lord will give him a seat with the leaders of his people. Praise, you servants of the Lord. Praise the name of the Lord. Blessed be the name of the Lord both now and forever. The Lord will give him a seat with the leaders of his people. From the rising to the setting of the sun is the name of the Lord to be praised. High above all nations is the Lord. Above the heavens is his glory. The Lord will give him a seat with the leaders of his people. Who is like the Lord our God who is enthroned on high? and looks upon the heavens and the earth below. The Lord will give him a seat with the leaders of his people. He raises up the lowly from the dust. From the dunghill he lifts up the poor, to seat them with princes, with the princes of his own people. The Lord will give him a seat with the leaders of his people. Alleluia! Alleluia, Alleluia. 
I chose you from the world to go and bear fruit that will last, says the Lord. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Jesus said to his disciples, As the Father loves me, so I also love you. Remain in my love. If you keep my commandments, you will remain in my love, just as I have kept my Father's commandments and remain in his love. I have told you this so that my joy might be in you and your joy might be complete. This is my commandment. Love one another as I love you. No one has greater love than this, to lay down one's life for one's friends. You are my friends if you do what I command you. I no longer call you slaves, because a slave does not, does not know what his master is doing. I have called you friends, because I have told you everything I have heard from my Father. It was not you who chose me, but I who chose you, and appointed you to go and bear fruit that will remain, so that whatever you ask the Father in my name, he may give you. This I command you, love one another. The Gospel of the Lord. This calling of St. Matthias to be an apostle uh, has, <coughs> has some deep meanings for our own lives. That Matthias was a follower of Jesus from the beginning, but he was not counted among the twelve apostles, that this special group of the twelve. But in the apostles' mind, after the death of Judas, that this symbolic number of twelve for the tribe, twelve tribes of Israel needs to be upheld. And so prayerfully, there is a replacement for Judas found in Matthias. Was there jealousy that he is a second choice? Is there a thing for the rest of his life where they kept reminding him, you know, you're, you're our second choice? Um, highly doubtful. Uh, but kind of that can have an effect on us. We were not those that walked with Jesus while he lived his human life. But we are still members of his church. We still are members of his body. We still see and hear him in each other. We still get to receive his body and blood in the Eucharist. We can still be transformed into him to take care of others. So though not one of the first or the second chosen, we have still been called into his life, still been called into this great love relationship. It is not about jealousy. It is not about who is loved more that in heaven we will all be loved, and we will all find our place in the body of Christ, and we all experience the eternal, unconditional love of God. So while here on earth we try to get in touch with that love, while here on earth we try to model that for people that don't think they belong, people that don't think they are chosen, so that no matter what happens, they can see that it is never too late to become a follower. It doesn't matter at what point you do, just as long as when you come to realize the truth of Christ, that you accept it and share it with as many people as you can, so they too can find the same joy that you feel and have felt as you are sent to show his love. The Lord calls us to himself. With faith and trust, let us bring our petitions before him. For the church, may the Lord raise up saints to lead all of us in holiness and faith. Let us pray to the Lord. For the world, may the grace of the Lord transform hearts to see the dignity of every person and the sanctity of creation. Let us pray to the Lord. For all those whose labor and faith is known only to the Lord, may God strengthen and sustain them, and may St. Matthias intercede for them. Let us pray to the Lord. For our faith community, may the Holy Spirit give each of us the grace to fully answer our particular call to holiness. Let us pray to the Lord. For those who have died, especially Father John Nentwick, the intention of this Mass, may the Lord welcome them into his eternal rest. Let us pray to the Lord. Father, you know our hearts and you hear our prayers. Grant what we ask according to your holy will, through your Son, Christ our Lord. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. 
For through your goodness we receive the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. By the mystery of this water and wine, we have come to share in the divinity of Christ, who humbled himself to share in our humanity. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. With humble spirit and contrite heart, may we be accepted by you, O Lord, and may our sacrifice in your sight this day be pleasing to you, Lord God. Wash me, O Lord, from my iniquity, and cleanse me from my sin. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Receive, O Lord, the offerings of your church, reverently presented for the feast of St. Matthias, and through them strengthen us by the power of your grace, through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For you have built your church to stand firm on apostolic foundations, to be a lasting sign of your holiness on earth, and offer all humanity your heavenly teaching. Therefore, now and for ages unending, with all the hosts of angels, we sing to you with all our hearts, crying out as we acclaim, Holy, Holy, Holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, and all you have created rightly gives you praise. For through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, by the power and working of the Holy Spirit, you give life to all things and make them holy. And you never cease to gather a people to yourself, so that from the rising of the sun to its setting, a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name. Therefore, O Lord, we humbly implore you by the same Spirit, graciously make holy these gifts we have brought to you for consecration, that they may become the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate these mysteries. For on the night he was betrayed, he himself took bread, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many. For the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, O Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the saving passion of your Son, his wondrous resurrection and ascension into heaven, and as we look forward to his second coming, we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pray, upon the oblation of your church, and recognizing the sacrificial victim, by whose death you will to reconcile us to yourself, grant that we who are nourished by the body and blood of your Son, and filled with his Holy Spirit, may become one body, one spirit in Christ. May he make of us an eternal offering to you, so that we may obtain an inheritance with your elect, especially with the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, the blessed Joseph, her spouse, with your blessed apostles and glorious martyrs, with St. Matthias and with all the saints, on whose constant intercession in your presence we rely for unfailing help. May this sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray, O Lord, advance the peace and salvation of all the world. Be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth, with your servant Francis our Pope and George our Bishop, the order of bishops all the clergy, and the entire people you have gained for your own. 
Listen graciously to the prayers of this family whom you have summoned before you. In your compassion, O merciful Father, gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world. To our departed brothers and sisters, and to all who are pleasing to you at their passing from this life, give kind admittance to your kingdom. There we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory, through Christ our Lord, through whom you bestow on the world all that is good. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope in the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. May the peace of the Lord be with you always. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. O Jesus Christ, Son of the living God, who by the will of the Father and the work of the Holy Spirit, through your death gave life to the world, free me by this, your most holy body and blood, from all my sins and from every evil. Keep me always faithful to your commandments, and never let me be parted from you. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but I only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. In the body of Christ, keep me safe. Give me safe for eternal life. Though you are physically unable to receive the Eucharist, you can still receive the fullness of the graces of the Blessed Sacrament by making a spiritual communion. To make your spiritual communion, please repeat after me this prayer written by St. Alphonsus Liguori. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most blessed sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot now receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there, and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. This is my commandment, love one another, as I love you, says the Lord, hallelujah. 
Let us pray. Never cease, O Lord, we pray, to fill your family with divine gifts, and through blessed Matthias' intercession for us, graciously admit us to a share in the lot of the saints in light. Through Christ our Lord. Recording this on Thursday, tomorrow night, Friday, um, will be uh, the last Friday night that we'll be uh, opening the church. Uh, so tomorrow night the church will be unlocked from 7 to 8 p.m. Uh, with adoration of the Blessed Sacrament, as well as I will be sitting in the confession. Please stay distant from each other, and there are disinfectant wipes available in the confession. Why this is the last one is because the following Friday is only a couple days. On Memorial Day Monday, uh, the 25th, We'll be starting up um, weekday Mass again. We'll be up in the church so that we can be spread apart from each other. And then May 30th and 31st, we'll be having Mass. Details are coming. Check the website um, and Facebook, and we'll have all the details of added Masses so we can still say every other pew and say distant from each other. And the Lord be with you. And bow down for the blessing. May God, who has granted you to stand firm on apostolic foundations, graciously bless you through the glorious merits of the holy apostle Matthias. Amen. And may he who endowed you with the teaching and example of the apostles make you, under their protection, witnesses to the truth before all. Amen. So that through the intercession of the apostles you may inherit the eternal homeland, for by their teaching you possess firmness of faith. Amen. May the blessing of Almighty God, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit come down on you and remain with you forever. Amen. Go and announce the gospel of the Lord. Thanks be to God.